Okay, so I wanted to share this story and a little bit of irritation that I had with the post office, the local post office here. So on Monday, I had gotten two deliveries, I think, um, two packages, they were boxes. And in the apartment complex that I live in, we have skinny mailboxes. Like the mailboxes are maybe like this big. So obviously a box is not gonna fit in that, but at the bottom of the mailboxes, they have these like package lockers where if you get a package and they don't deliver it to the leasing office, they will put it in one of those boxes underneath the regular mailboxes and they will leave the key for that little locker area in your mailbox. So then you can just get the packages out and leave the key in the door. So I had a key in my mailbox on Monday and lo and behold, for like the second or third time since I have lived here, and I've only lived here since the end of January, um, <clears throat> like I was unable to, I put the key in, the key went into the lock, um, the lock on the locker, but it would not turn whatsoever. So I called them the same day and I'm like, hey, listen, um, it says that I have two packages that were delivered to my address today and there was a key in my box, but when I put it into the package locker, it wouldn't turn. So she says, okay, well, what's your address? I gave her all my address information and all that. And then she says, okay, well, I'll have to call the carrier and have them drop you off a key that actually works. So the next morning, um, before the mail was actually delivered, I went out there and there was a new key in the box, um, in my mailbox. So I tried that one. I put it in the lock, tried to turn it, nothing turned again. So I called them back yet again. And I was like, okay, so yesterday I called for the same reason. I have packages in a package locker and I am unable to open the locker door because the keys that were given to me in my mailbox will not turn. So the lady asked me for my address yet again. And she says, okay, well, I'm the, I don't know if she said she was a regional manager or if she was some type of inspector for the post office, but whatever it was, she said, okay, well, I'm going to come out and I'm going to see what's going on and we can get you either your packages or um, <clears throat> figure out what's going on. We can schedule a redelivery or something. And so again, you know, I'm waiting for them to handle their problem. And so like maybe three or four hours later, I had someone ring the door because in the apartment complex I live in, we have the door system where you have to buzz people in. They can't just open the door. Um, yeah, safety. Um, so I buzzed the door to let them in because I looked out the window in the kitchen and I saw that it was the mail, um, the post office. And so I buzzed the door, nobody opened the door. I buzzed the door again, nobody opened the door again. So I buzzed the door a third time and nobody answered, the, nobody opened the door. So I'm like, okay, well, I went back to the kitchen window and they were still just sitting there and I'm like, okay, why didn't you open the door? Like most people, when they hear the door buzzing, they would open the door. Um, but you know, so I hurried up and put my shoes on because it looked like they were getting back in their car to leave. So I put my shoes on, ran outside in sweatpants, a t-shirt and shoes with no socks, no jacket, no nothing. And um, they're like, are you Robin? And I said, yeah. And she said that she needed the keys that were left in my mailbox so then she could try to figure out what was going wrong. So I ran back in here and I grabbed the keys that were on my desk and, you know, I gave them to her. And she says, okay, well, I'm going to go try these keys in the mailbox. And if they don't work, then I'm just going to, um, you know, give you a, the right key and leave it in the mailbox. And then I'll call you and let you know which one. Um, was right. I'm like, okay. So a couple hours go by 
no call from the post office lady. And so I just decided, you know what, what the heck, I'm just going to go to the mailbox and I'm going to try to open the door for myself because I really wanted my packages. Um, one was a loot crate and then I had another Gwynny B shipment and then there was another box in there. And so I'm like, okay, I really want my stuff. So hopefully there's a key in my mailbox when I open the door. So I opened my mailbox once I got up there and um, I'm like, okay, great. There's another key in there. So I put the key in the lock and I'm like, oh God, please let this work. And I turned it and it actually turned and I was finally able to open the door and get my stupid packages out. I just hate that. Um, sometimes I hate having to deal with the post office or even FedEx and UPS because, you know, you kind of just have to sit there and wait and, you know, you're basically just biding your time. You have to waste whatever time. You can't really do anything else because, especially in apartment complexes, you don't want them to leave your packages outside and a lot of times they won't because it's an apartment complex. They don't want to be liable for your package going missing or anything like that. So that was just my frustration with the post office uh, yesterday and the day before. I'm just glad that I was able to get my packages out. Um, hopefully I don't have to deal with that anymore because like I said, that was the second or third time since I have moved here that I've had issues with the packages and the little package lockers um, and like I said I've only lived here since the end of January so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come but I hope you guys enjoyed my little story slash irritation with the post office like comment subscribe share the video and I will see you guys again soon